Hi everyone, this is Mamma Joy and welcome to my channel. Uh, Carissa wants me to make her some cookies today and she wants a cookie that has coconut in it and pecans in it and she likes peanut butter so I'm going to put a few peanut butter chips in it. And I melted, um, I've melted a stick of butter and I've already poured it in the mixing bowl. And to that, I'm going to add a half a cup of sugar, white sugar. Now I did let that butter set for a little bit to cool down after I put it in the microwave. Then I'm gonna put in a fourth a cup of brown sugar. You can use light brown or you can use dark brown, whichever you like. So I'm gonna mix that up. This must be a really small recipe. I'm, anyway, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add in the egg. It takes one egg. I'm gonna add in one egg. and a teaspoon of vanilla. Okay, to that I'm going to add a cup and a half of flour. This is just all purpose flour and it's unbleached because that's what I use for everything is unbleached flour. one cup and three-fourths of a cup. I'm not sure what I told you, but three-fourths of a cup. Then I'm going to add a half a teaspoon of baking soda and just a pinch of salt. Okay, that looks good. I'm gonna add a uh, half a cup of sweetened coconut. <laughs> Flour stuck to the side. I'm not sure what's going on with the mix. Okay. To that, I'm going to add, now these nuts are pieces, pecan pieces, and uh, they're in pretty big pieces. I got these because I didn't want to have to chop up little, my nuts get too fine when I chop them up, and I don't like them like that. And I should have had, I should have chopped these up more, but maybe they'll be good in their hole, hole like that. So there goes the nuts. I'm gonna put the peanut butter chips in there. I hope this isn't too much stuff in here for the batter, for the dough. I don't think it will be. But the thing of it is, it's not going to make a big batch. It's not going to make a whole lot of cookies, but that's okay. We may not like these. That's just what she wanted. She'll like them. Okay. So, the next thing I'm going to do is get out a cookie sheet, and I will be back and show you what I'm going to do with them and tell you how long I'm going to bake them. Alrighty, I'm back, and I'm going to take a tablespoon, and I'm going to, 
That's gonna make really tiny cookies too. <coughs> and I'm gonna dip this cookie dough out and put it on the cookie sheets. <coughs> like I said, this did not make a lot of dough. You can see that. I usually make a large batch when I make cookies. I don't really call this a large batch, but... And, and it's not. But we'll see. These cookies are going to be tiny. Anyway, we're gonna, I'm going to bake them at 350. 350 degrees. And... It says for nine to 10 minutes, but I'm gonna bake them for eight minutes to start with. And if I think they're done, I'm gonna take them out. I think my oven just bakes things a little hotter than, than it should, but I got that oven thermometer and put in there and it's on the money. So I don't know what makes it seem so hot. Anyway, this is what the cookies are looking like. When I get these all on the sheet, I will put them in the oven and bake them for eight minutes. And then I will be back to show you how they turned out. Okay, I just took them out of the oven. I baked them for seven minutes. I baked them for nine minutes. I've baked them for 12 minutes. They were still a little doughy in the middle at 10 minutes. So I baked them for two more minutes. I'm gonna set them over here on the cooling rack. She likes her cookies soft and I like my cookies crunchy. <laughs> but I was trying to get them the way she would like them, but they just were doughy in the middle. At, at seven minutes, I didn't test them for the doughiness, but I tested them at nine minutes and they were doughy. So I baked them for 10 and then I baked them for 12. And we'll just see, and let these cool because they said nine to 10 minutes and that should have been plenty because my oven is really, really does get hot. So what I'm gonna do is I've made these other cookies and got them made out into their little shape, their little balls. And I'm gonna stick them in and they may bake faster because the pan's hot. They may bake faster because there's not as many on the pan. And I'm smashing these down because I left some of these up and didn't. And then I smashed those and I, I like them better. The ones that I smashed, I think I like it better. So that's what I'm gonna do with these. And put these back in. So I will be back. I've broke another pair of my glasses. I ordered new ones and I ordered the wrong strength. So I don't have any that I hope I don't break these before Wednesday because that's when they're coming in. So I'm going to taste these cookies and let you know how they are. Okay. I may have baked them too long for her. They're just right for me. It's hard to tell when you get them. She likes them really soft. Mm. 
it is still soft in there. It's not real crunchy. Just the outside. They're good. I can taste the coconut and the nuts and the peanut butter chips. I can taste and I did get enough in there. a nice little cookie. It made 31 cookies. I didn't have any, of course they're small. When I make my chocolate chip cookies, they're bigger than this. But um, I do make a bigger batch, a bigger recipe. But these were, these are really good little cookies. Now these that I didn't press down, they'll probably be even softer in the middle. And she'll like those. I should have left hers up and not pushed them down. But anyway, there they are. And uh, I think you'll enjoy these little cookies. They'll be good to, they would be good to eat with a cup of coffee. Okay, I'm gonna get off for now. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel if you haven't. Hit the like button and the notification bell, and I'll see you soon.